good morning today is the fourth day and today we'll be riding uh, a little differently we'll have three targets instead of just one which we had for three days so one is the first target is would be 70 kilometers so minimum i have to reach would be then comes padu bidri which is 94 95 kilometers and then surat kal which is very near to uh, mangalore at 115 kilometers so the margin is very high 70 to 115 so either i reach would be or i reach uh, padu bidri or better i reach surat kal so let's start the day the time is 7 30 and i'm on my way to at least Udupi. i am aiming for padu bidri which i said is 95 kilometers my thighs are paining a bit uh, maybe something which will kind of get better by tomorrow maybe uh, Kanyakumari is at least 840 kilometers from here so it's a long way to go and if I keep on doing 70 80 it'll take uh, 10 11 days more so kind need to kind of increase the speed over here meanwhile Yesterday I was staying at the Hotel Ambika International and uh, go ahead and check the room tour video and let me know the price in the comment section. Room tour, start. So while you enter, you get a bathroom, the wash basin, a commode, towel, bath space, shower. Amazing. Moving on. Now this is for four people. I don't know why I got this. I'm only one single person. There's double bed over here, double bed over here. There's no cushion or mattress or anything over here, but still fine. Two bottle of water, television, phone, switch. And the restaurant is a little quirky. You have to scan the barcode. So to get all the menu card, it's this is the AC over here. It's my stuff. You have a wardrobe to keep your things. Uh, a TV, a clock, which I think is I haven't seen in a clock in much of the hotels. Set a box, a chair, table to work, and the view. A lot of you might be thinking what have I carried for my entire trip. So I've made a short quick video about it and I'll show you what all I have carried for the entire trip. So this is my entire stuff packed into two bags. One a backpack, second a cycle pack which obviously comes on cycle. So what do I have in the entirety? This is a between pipe uh, to fill air in the tires there's an mi 20,000 mAh power bank then there is a controversial toolkit used to repair punctured tires this is a mic from boya so uh, to record my stuff this is again between bag which goes on the cycle the gloves which is very much necessary because the ride is too long and your hands will get hardened in the front so on the palms so this is necessary helmet very much necessary and let me scan this is the handle mount for your mobile so if you want to see some uh, not some if you want to see your uh, route and uh, or if you want to attend your mobile every now and then you just clamp it to your handle and then you place your mobile in this and yeah you're good to go it's from amazon basics this is the sleeves 
uh, which you wear in your hands to protect yourself from sunlight. This is a bottle of water, very much necessary. The capacity is 750 ml. And this is a chest mount for GoPro. This is the bungee cord which is used to uh, tie the bag behind your cycle on the carrier. This is a buff which you wear uh, on your mouth. Yeah. Mouse and mouse pad. This is earphones. These are some tablets uh, for your stomach, for uh, I think for cold, for uh, as a painkiller or for fever. Eno. This is a bag. This is a backpack. A pant and a t-shirt to go outside. Socks. 50-50. Snack biscuit. Energy bars. I have not included those because I just finished. Toothpaste, brush, Life Boy soap, Surf Excel, very much necessary to wash clothes. A spare towel, mostly hotels have towel, but if they don't, a towel. A type C charger and the adapter. A pen, a DO, debit card, a license, other card, basically ID cards. Shorts t-shirt to wear while cycling so that is my entire stuff for this cycling tour if you don't want to carry your backpack you do get uh, special bags designed for cycles so you can use them and it will be more comfortable but it is a little costly they come in different sizes and shapes and forms so yeah, just check out Btwin, uh, sorry, Decathlon website or the store and you'll uh, get an idea of what all bags there is available for a cycle. So this place is 50 kilometers behind Udupi. I have just taken a stop to eat Kela. Just look at the view. And that's the highway. There's a bus going on. The time is 9.20, almost 1 hour 50 minutes after I have started cycling and I have completed almost 25 kilometers. Uh, so if I if I take Udupi, I still have 45 kilometers to go. If I take Padubidri, I have 70 kilometers to go. And if I take Suratkal, I have 90 kilometers to go.
Vada. So this is Kundapura. And after I think a lot of time I'm going through a town. I've already rode 5 kilometers in here and it's still not finished, it's still there. I think it'll go till Udupi. Forty kilometers done, and um, I think I'll try and reach till Padubidri, which is ninety-five kilometers. And the lens has oil. so that's almost 15 km per hour the road is smooth flat with very less climbs but the sun today is very hot uh, in another 10 kilometers I'll reach my first target which is Udupi and uh, I'll see I'll push from there for another 20 25 kilometers to reach Padu Bidri where I will be having lunch I'm exhausted Time is 12.30, 5 hours have passed and 70 kilometers are done. This is Udupi, the main city of Udupi and uh, since it's just 12.30, I am thinking to cycle till Padubidri for my lunch and if I still have any energy left, I will try and push to Surat Kal, which is uh, around 45 kilometers from here, and another 12 kilometers from there is Mangalore. So the road is good, so I am a little positive, but let's see. That's Yash, the actor of KGF selling Freedom Oil. It's 2.15 and I have reached Padu Bidri, which was 95 kilometers from Bindur, our second target. So that's done. Next is Suratkal, 20 kilometers from here. And then uh, Mangalore at 35 kilometers. So after my lunch, I'll... Let's see, I'll push till Mangalore. And uh, I'll take a fall. The road is really good. Back on the road after lunch and uh, did some calculations and I have now I have another three targets one is Suratkal 20 kilometers Mangalore 32 kilometers and uh, Ullal 42 kilometers
that's 100 kilometers. The time is 3.15 and uh, completed 100 kilometers for the day. I'm sort of entering into Mangalore. Not the main town, but part of it. Quick update, time is 4.40 and kilometers completed 123 and we have entered Mangalore. After 340 kilometers, I have encountered my first traffic. Yes, it's a proper traffic. By the way, that was the Netravali river. Clouds, sun, trees and railway track. I hope you see it. And 136 kilometer. So that was today's ride. 136 kilometers. The road is actually it's actually smooth it's straight and hence i pushed it because again i didn't want to stay at kasar for tomorrow so i came to ullar so 130 kilometers uh we still have 700 kilometers to go for kanyakumari hopefully i should finish it within a week that's the aim now a quick room tour of this hotel this is called hotel nirvikal nirvikal pa nirvikal something in ullal not that impressed but a room tour so 32 inch led from chroma which is good the door my stuff a table cupboard and a double bed we have reception and restaurant features a window and small toilet everything is small gopro is showing it a little bigger but everything is small uh, this costs 1200 rupees for a day and uh, 1200 rupees for 1200 things could have been a little better uh, there's no soap you get with this no toiletries you get a towel that is good and uh, I haven't gotten my complimentary water bottle and the other surprising thing was when I checked in he just gave me the key, key and told second floor so self-service hotel i guess okay if you can adjust it just if it's just for a night it's okay or else maybe you can uh, choose another option nice views uh, anyway so i have to go back to editing i haven't taken much footage because i wanted to make it short i mean the more i'm trying the more uh, bigger the file size is becoming so i have taken less footage let's see of what duration the video becomes today so i'll just go back to editing the time is 6 20 i have to edit render and upload i also have to check if there's a wi-fi over here uh the hotel which had the amazon fire stick uh, the wi-fi had a speed of 50 mbps the whole thing a 2.28 gb file was uploaded in i think 11 minutes so pretty tough standards out there 
and compared to that this hotel is little anyway so keep watching the videos and thank you for uh, watching it and liking it i'll make more videos tomorrow we'll enter kerala i am a little doubtful about that because i don't know the current rules and if i will be stopped at the border what happens so we'll see that tomorrow what happens and whatever it is probably we should get through so yep yeah. Like, share, subscribe as always and uh, see you tomorrow in Kerala. Bye.